Hi there, it's Rob from Onstage Lighting. Welcome to a short screencast uh, with a tutorial on how to use uh, the Execute window in the Campus Magic Queue. The Execute window is for a touchscreen use, so it's a, a little window that you can use to uh, supplement uh, your touchscreens, um, which you can lay out executors on. Now, I'll talk about executors in a minute. What you can do with these executors is you can create different layouts, so you can use different um, arrangements of these executors, um, and so you can create a number of different execute windows within the MagicQ software. The executor itself, it can operate a queue or a group or a macro. It can also be either a button, a toggle button, or it can be a momentary button. It can also be a fader, and there's also the option as well to add different button graphics to the button itself. The uses for the execute window, uh, there's loads of them really, it's one of the most customizable areas of the Magic Cube from an operator's point of view. But some of the uses include um, to toggle on things uh, like such as working light, things that you don't want to use up playbacks on, um, smoke and stuff like that. You can also use it to give you additional playback faders, so for things that don't need direct physical control of faders but you may want to um, give it um, some dimmed control. You can use it for other common tasks like macros and stuff, so you could have an executor window that had a number of different functions on it, which is something you did a lot when you were either programming or when you were playing back. And you can also use it for virtual magic sheet. If you've seen the on-stage lighting article on magic sheets, uh, there's some ideas there as to how you could possibly use that. So let's flick on over to the MagicQ software then. Um, what I've got here, if I'm looking in my sort of one of my usual views in uh, the MagicQ, so at the moment I've got my palettes window open, the thing about the executor window is that um, you want to access it like all windows in the Magic Queue by going over to one of the window buttons and hit the one that says exec on it. That opens up a window and the window may not have any tiles in it when you first open it up. That's fine because what we're going to do is create some uh, tiles so that we can lay out our executor window. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flick onto page two so that you can see that there's, there's no grid here at all. So you see you can toggle through the pages, um, that acute, create a number of execute windows and we're just going to create one on page two. What I want to do to start with is I need to set the grid size, so the number of uh, slots that I want available and how I want to lay out the executor window. Um, if you're doing a magic sheet, this is going to be crucial depending on how you want to lay out your rig. Um, so I'm going to set the grid size. So I hit set grid size on the soft button on the top right hand side, and then it says set width height. So I'm going to do, I don't know, let's just do something simple like four and two. So this given us, you see, it's got eight tiles here. Now the key thing here you'll notice is that we're in this um, the first tab on the top left hand side, which is called View Design. If we're in View Execute, it actually is the finalized window that we're going to use. So you need to make sure that if you want to add and change things, we need to be in Design. Now there's two things I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is I want to set up a toggle for my tech power. So I've got DMX controlled tech power on fixtures 901 to 904 and I want them to toggle on and I'm just going to put it up here. So what I need to do is you can copy and paste cues and stuff into the executor window but for the sake of argument what I'm going to do is I'm just going to record the queue itself. So I need to do 901 to 904 and so what we've got here then is we've got 901 to 904 at full in the programmer. Obviously, if you could see my programmer window, you'd see that was in there. So I'm just going to do what you do when you record, normally record a queue. I'm going to hit record, give it a name. So I'll call it uh, hot power on. I'm going to stick it over here. I'm going to clear the programmer, make sure there's nothing in the programmer. And now I can actually toggle in the design view, I can toggle the hot power on and off. And what that's doing is it's turning 901 to 904 to full and back off again. Now you know I said about the um, execute window itself, when you're actually using the execute window and if you were to give others access to it, the best thing to do is to give them access to it in the, the executor tab, which means that you only get the buttons that you've recorded. So at the moment we only have hot power on and off. Also means people can't change the window or get in a muddle, um, accidentally delete things and stuff. So that's cool, so I've got a button. Now what I can do in that uh, design window is I can also change the button type, so I can add some colour to it, 
And then if I go back to the execute window, you can see I've got some color to it. There's also ways that you can assign a bitmap and various other things. Uh, I won't go into that, but you'll be able to work it out by there's, um, there's some options on the top stuff buttons to do that. Right, the next thing I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna record um, my house lights onto, onto an executor fader. So I'm just gonna go back to my, go to my house lights, stick them at full. So at full in, house lights are at full in the programmer. I'm gonna hit record, call it house lights, stick it here. And this time I'm gonna change the button type to fader. And what you can't see there until we go into the execute window is it's given us a fader. It's a blue fader, so it doesn't really show up very well on this screen. But you can change the color of the fader. Um, you can you can do all those sorts of things. The direct control of the fader is okay. You obviously use your finger on the touch screen. It's not something you'd want to actually control a show from, um, but it's good for setting various levels and stuff like that. So now we've got house lights fader, and we've got our tech power on. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you one more thing in the in the execute window, is that's to assign a specific um, a macro. And what you do is you would select the sl slot you want to choose. You hit assign special, and then for this, I think I'm going to make my special to be lamp off all. So that's the thing I hit at the end of the night. And you see, you go back into the execute. Um, there it is. So I've got a few controls here. I could put that on any of my other touch screens, um, and I can save that in page two, execute window page two. I can save that as a view. Um, so you could obviously set that up along with all your other windows and save it as a view in the same way as you do everything else. Okay, so hopefully that's given you a quick overview of how to use the execute window. As I say, the other element to it is, is that you can add uh, not only images to the buttons, but you can also set wallpaper as well. So you could set um, an image behind this, which would then appear when you uh, set the window to view execute. Um, you can do that via set wallpaper. There's kind of a, uh, arrangements for resolution and things like that, which you can look up in the help. But, um, but basically the concept's there, so you could use that, for instance, as a magic sheet, a background to a magic sheet, or you could just use it to design a user-friendly interface, including buttons and some prompts, uh, for maybe incoming users or something. The key is, is that it's quite a customizable uh, element of the magic queue, which you can set up really how you want to work how you like. Hope that's been useful. I'll see you again soon.